Hello, and welcome to my dark ride, Haunted House Build. And firstly, I should warn you that this is going to be a very, very, very long series, because today I have only started the Haunted House Building, and that takes, in time-lapse form, about an hour. So, as of yet, I have yet to actually design the dark ride element to the ride, so all you will see in the first few parts will be the Haunted House design. So let me tell you about this build. This build um, was chosen, I chose this build, to make something quite complex. Something, you know, not so free. I want to look at, I've been looking at a lot of other people's builds on YouTube and discovering or rediscovering or looking at techniques that will help me push these, uh, this tool to a next level. And I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen these videos. They're very, very impressive. So, that's what I have been doing. Let me start by saying that I really, really dislike the blue roofs, but it was the only thing available for what I needed. So, so with that out of the way, the idea for this house is based on British-style Victorian Tudor, timber frame Tudor. And the history to this house is that it's some sort of gateway to hell. That That's the, the sort of ride experience that I'm going for. It's hard to sort of not make it roller coastery, but it's really not going to be a roller coaster, even though you can see I'm using a roller coaster for it. I'm trying to make it as smooth and non hilly as I am allowed to make, as as the game lets me. It's it's already proving quite difficult, but I still have a lot to play around with. So what I've been doing in the meantime is just making the house look the part. And you will get cranked up outside of the house, above the trees, and then dropped into I don't know, another world, sort of like go through a gateway and then you're gonna get attacked by the Kraken. So I'm gonna use the Kraken in this build, which I haven't used yet in my park, and I'm looking forward to seeing how that will work. I don't know how related a Kraken is to a horror theme, but I don't know, maybe we can just pretend that a mad scientist used to live here and he created that or something. I mean, it's built looking out from my colonial town, so it, it's definitely larger than any of the buildings in the colonial town, so I guess the story is that it was someone from the colonial town, probably the richest person in the town, and he built his house to overlook the whole colonial town, and then he fell into dismay, or he fell into some, you know, troubles, you know how spooky stories are, you know, you know how they, you know, his daughter died, or I, I don't know, his wife died, or I don't know, I don't know. But it's semi-based on the haunted house ride in Disneyland called the Haunted Mansion. But more so, more so based on Phantom Manor in Disneyland Paris. Because it's supposed to be a bit more adult oriented. It's not supposed to be a cheesy ghost story. It's not supposed to be a cheesy horror story. It's supposed to be quite a elaborate and quite expensive ride. You know, a, a good little ride. A good little ride. Not, not something out of, not, not a ghost train, so to speak. More, more of a... You know, a walk through piece of art, something like that, something like that. Um, and I've noticed how long this is because I haven't even star started to make the building, as you can see. So, I think I've summed up more or less what's going to be taking place. Oh, let me let me just say, like, I tried to make some stairs, but I'm still, I still don't know how to to do those. I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment a bit more. I don't know how to make the stairs, but I'm gonna experiment some more, and hopefully. It's gonna, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna make some gravestones, I think, somehow. I don't know, I don't know. But, it's gonna be a long time before I'm at that stage, because at the moment, it is just the house that is being made. And because of the level of detailing that goes into the house, which in of itself is not finished, then it's gonna be a long time before we start to look at, you know, the dark ride elements. And dark. But it gives me a lot of time to do some research and look at some other videos, because there are many, many videos of dark rides. Well, not many, but there are a few videos of dark rides, and I don't think I can make them that cool, but I can try. And half the fun is just to try. So I'm going to leave it there, and I will come back soon when I have something to say. But for right now, that is all I have to say.
Thank you.